that's that you said um you didn't you didn't never taste the aces i never tasted aces so i remember when we drank you aces introduced Day, me to it and, and it's decent what i did what i didn't realize is you and hoes not discrepancy but um misunderstanding about 99 problems well, the thing about the 90s, let's go, you want to go into Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wants to get right into it. Because <laughs> you know he owns the champagne. I remember love for Jigger. That's right. I knew Jigger. I met Jay-Z way back in the day. Big Daddy Kane brought him to my house. Wow. Back when he was That's... with Jazzo. Wow. Jay-Z was just a kid, so wow. he wasn't really doing much, but he was just there with Kane. Kane was the boss. Mm-hmm. Everybody, they take, see, what happens in, the, in in this podcast world is they'll take something I'm saying right now and they'll edit it with another something from someplace else and it'll yep. turn it into a conversation that not is not real. Right. There's right. no beef between me and Jay-Z and 99 Problems, but a lot of people didn't know that that was originally my song. Right. So when they asked me about it, I said, that's originally my song. Then the podcast world goes, Ice-T, see, Jay stole it. And, no, Jay did not steal it. Yeah, you're shit. just explaining something. Explaining it. So you want to know the story of the 99 Problems yeah. since we're on Drink Chips? Yes, let's go. I was with Brother Marquise from... Uh, Two Live Crew. Two Live Crew. And Joe, Brother Marquise was talking about Whoop, There It Is. Now, uh. do you know the story behind Whoop, There It Is? Nah. Whoop, There It Is is what they used to say at Magic City when the girls would bend over and you could see they pussy. Wow. I never knew. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <laughs> right. Tag team with the DJs in Magic City. Okay. All right, now it makes sense. So when the girls boo, no, okay. whoop, and, there and, it is. Because I, I just want to be clear. Magic City is... A strip in, club. In Atlanta. 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 Yeah, yeah, Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. I, I, I thought you were talking about Miami. Because he said Brother Marquis. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah. Atlanta. Okay. Tag team were the DJs in the club. They were the strip club DJs. And that was what they'd say. When the girl boo, whoop, there it is. So now that became a big hit record. Uh, so right. Marquis is at my house. He's like, nigga, I was sitting there all them nights... That was the phrase it paid. <laughs> you know? And then out of nowhere, he said, man, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I said, what the fuck did you just say? Uh -huh. He said, I got nine. I said, that's a record, Mark. That's a record. So he says, okay, fuck with it. So I write the record. I got a hoe from the east. I got a hoe from the west. I got a hoe that likes a jacket off and rub it in her chest. I got a bitch from the north, a bitch from the south, a bitch that likes to suck it long and hold it in her mouth. I got a bitch with hair, a bitch with none, a bitch with a <laughs> knife, a bitch with a gun, a bitch with ass big as a TV set. And there's a bitch over there. Hey, the one I'm going to get, but yo, but maybe not. She may not like me, though. No sweat to a vet. I'll fuck her sister, though. Word. I rock the whole damn herd. Fuck them all and put them on the curb. I got a bitch with a mink who rocks a Fat gold link who likes to fuck me with her ass upon the kitchen sink. I got a bitch with tits, a bitch with ass, a bitch with none. But hey, I give her a pass and I love them all. I love them crazily and they love me back. That's why they stay with me. So if you're having girl problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems and a bitch in the Hit me. So that. That was that was that was on the home invasion album. So there's more, uh, you know, it, it goes on and on. And Marquise says a rhyme. And so so what happens? The way the story goes, Rick Rubin was producing Jay Z mm. in the studio, and Chris Rock was there. Mm. This is the story I got. Chris is an Ice T fan because we we bonded from New Jack City. Mm -hmm. Pookie, Pookie, that's right. my nigga. Right. I yeah. saved his fucking life. Well, right. he got killed. Pookie got it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he relapsed heavy. <laughs> yeah, he relapsed. <laughs> Yo, Scotty. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> yeah, keep calling me, man. It's cold. <laughs> so, apparently they said Chris gave Rick the idea to do 99 Props. Uh. And so that's where they, they, they decided to do the song. The cold thing is Jay-Z, when he did the song, he even took the hit. Hit me. Yeah, yeah, that, just, that's the part that got me. I'm yeah. like, damn, he got that part. So he, he does the record. The record's a hit. Now, I had a publishing deal with Warner Brothers. When you anybody knows what a publishing deal is, you can sell your publishing to people for a year. Mm -hmm. and, and they'll give you the money up Warner front. Brothers or Warner Chapel? I don't know. Okay, okay. All right. It was Warner something. Okay, okay. It could have been MC, it could have been Universal. I don't know. Okay. I had a publishing deal. Okay. So for that year, mm. they pay you at front. Like say for instance, over a year you might make two, three hundred thousand on your publishing. Mm. With a publishing deal, you you say, give me that up front. And then after that number, 
we'll split it 50 50. And then at the end of the year, I get it back and I could do it. So that's a publishing deal. Mm -hmm. During the time I, I did the, the 99 problems, I was in a publishing deal. Mm -hmm. So that money just, I didn't get paid. Oh, it, went, it went off to the deal. Uh -huh. And that's how it happened. Uh, Jay Z didn't steal it. Right. right. Uh, so I, the end of the story is, it hits the internet and everybody, oh, he's teased, pissed. I'm like, I'm not even pissed. It's trip for somebody to say you mad and you not mad. I'm like, I'm not mad. Why are they making me mad, right? So <laughs> I'm at the Grammys. So I see Jay-Z right now. Now Jay-Z is another, uh, has turned into a whole nother thing. Uh, yes. Right? You know, yeah. I, but I respect that. Once he got married, he like, he's now, I, I, I respect marriage. Okay. okay, okay. I can't, we don't, you know. So anyway, I see him. And he smiles at me. He goes, Ice, you mad at me? I said, nah. And he said, you know I love you, right? I said, I love you. I said, yeah. And he said, nine, nine. I said, Jay-Z, that's not by my words, right? And so then at the end, I said, but Jay, at, during, at the end of the record, you could have said, Ice. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you could have thrown a nigga a bone or something. I could have used it. I'm not a billionaire, Jay, you know? But no, no, all love right. and you know, once again, this is what the press can do and steer shit into right. beef that's not ever beef. T to be clear, though, did your publishing collect off of that? Or I'm no? sure they did. Oh, they did. Oh, I'm sure they did. Okay. Right. I'm sure they did. But no, there was no check written. I didn't get nothing like that. Right. I mean, just recently, Ice Cube is a neat Teenage Ninja Mutant... Mi Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles, right? And so I'm watching TV, and I hear... The, the fucking turtles say, uh, <laughs> six in the morning, police at my door. No way. Yeah. Right? You heard it? That's your shit. Yeah. Right. So yeah, cute did that. But I got paid. Right. It, that goes through publishing and stuff like that. And I right. got a little check because I got my publishing back now. I own my publishing, so I got a, a check. Right. I won't tell, tell you, but I got paid. Right. I was like, okay. So, yeah, it's publishing. Jamie, I know he's not drinking, but can we offer him a glass of champagne? Yeah, give me, give me something. <laughs>